Hello, welcome to Microsoft Office Word tutorial and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you vital things that you need to take note before working on Microsoft Office Word and also you need to take note of it even when you are working on Microsoft Office Word. So the very first thing is insertion pointer. What is an insertion pointer? Insertion pointer is a pointer that indicates the status of what you are typing in microsoft office world you will see something especially when you're on a blank uh, space you will see something that is kind of a blinking the name is called insertion pointer and then once you begin typing you see it's moving it to the right the more you type the more the insertion pointer will be to the right so there is an example here that, that, that I put down. Insertion pointer almost always moves towards the right. So now, for an example, let's type, I am learning Microsoft Office Word. I am learning Microsoft Office Word. Do you see, as I'm typing, it's moving toward to the right. Now, you have to note something. If your insertion pointer is at this place, maybe probably you press uh, the arrow key or you drag your mouse to this very side and then probably you now want to type I am learning Microsoft Office Word and then in Computer Academy and then your insertion pointer is right here now if you type in Computer Academy do you see what it brings out it brings i am a computer academy learning microsoft office world where because of coincidence is something uh, the english is uh, probably correct but what i'm trying to say is where your pointer is is where your test will be so now the motive of re typing i am learning microsoft office world is in computer academy in computer academy now let's say we want to input another text again that says for free now i want to type for free and then your insertion pointer is actually at this place now you you don't know that your insertion point is there and then you want to type for free now can you see it changes the sentence the grammatical sentence that you are actually aiming at so what you have to do you delete it and then you make sure you click your insertion pointer to this place so that for free we 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 show i believe you understand what insertion pointer is so it moves to the right so also insertion pointer allows you to edit delete building any desired test in a nutshell, it allows you to do any adjustment that you want to do on Microsoft Office Word. So now, for an example, now this Office Word, this Microsoft. Now, for an ex example, I want to highlight it. Now, this is the insertion pointer. I will make sure I drag the mouse to this very side. You can you see the insertion pointer here, and then I can highlight it here and do whatever I want to do. So that I bold here, so it has been bolded which means insertion pointer is very very important where your insertion pointer is is where you will see the results now lastly insertion pointer is at the next paragraph here so if i type it will it will type it will display at the next paragraph so let's continue when do you press enter key yes this one two is very 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 much important when do you type enter key do not press enter key when you reach the end of the line actually there are some people that thought oh once i reach the end of this line then i will click on enter key no that is not the rule now let's type this one finish i am learning microsoft office in computer academy for free comma and i am very happy to be learning now let me try to reduce the 
the fund, I mean the the, the, the percent. So now, when we get to this place, actually we are about reaching the end of the line. Now, some people, when they now reach this place, they will press enter and then they will start typing no. Okay, let's finish it to be to be learning it for free. Now, what has actually been done here is it has created a new paragraph and we it is it is not following the initial sentence that you are actually typing before so it is wrong when you reach the end of the line and then you press enter it is very very wrong microsoft office world will automatically wrap the test and put it to the next now let's see the difference i am very happy to be learning it for free now can you see the difference here there is no more space and then it is actually readable so you have to note whenever you want to press enter key so when do you now press enter key you press enter key when you are creating a new paragraph a new numbering or a new listing now when you want a new paragraph now probably at this very side let's say you are okay here and then you want to type a new paragraph then you can make use of enter key you know if you are pressing you, you, you want to press a new paragraph we have to go down so just you now press your enter key that is where your enter key will definitely work now you just say yes i am very happy now let me give you an example again for you to understand what i'm trying to do now place your pointer to the to the beginning of the paragraph and you type this is equal to run uh, four and then you press on enter now do you see it works on probably all the microsoft office word now let me show you again control z equal to no space rand bracket four it will bring it four paragraph it's like a command that actually works in virtually most of microsoft office word software so now at this very side this is the first paragraph it ends here second paragraph third paragraph and then the fourth paragraph so when they when they reach it reach here they press enter that gives this another paragraph so it is enter key that gives to you a new paragraph and when you reach the end of the line probably you are writing a sentence you don't press enter key i believe you understood what i'm trying to say so now when do you press space bar this is another one that we have to check space bar space is only used in between words now for and yeah look at this space actually make this very very beautiful now let's type again i now i press on space if i don't press space i am learning computing now this is actually meaningless because there is no space here so you use space in between words so that it will give it sense and then it will definitely show however space is only type once now there are some people that will type i hi sorry i now okay now let's now spread press this space huh? learning no this is actually wrong in microsoft office world if you want to do something like this yeah you just have to make use of alt you make use of alt key so the alt tab key oh me rather is tab key just press on tab maybe if you want something like this i am learning and then press another tab computing so that is how to do that do not press space key more than once you more than once you always press space key once and then if you want a larger space you make use of tab key so that is that all right i believe you have gained something please subscribe to this channel bye bye